Hello and welcome gorgeous Scorpio. I hope you're doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and we'll see what spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. You may like to think of a question that you would like to receive an answer to or guidance on. And by the end of the reading, the answer will be revealed in the cards for you. Let's take a look at your first message here. So we have something happening uh, perhaps in your home, uh, a home situation or the people that you're living with. Maybe you're considering moving. There's also a lot of blessings on your home or family situation as well. A visit or a call from a friend can heal you. So there may be someone reaching out to you from abroad or someone you don't uh, usually hear from. You can also also heal a friend in the same way. Is there someone you've been wanting to contact but haven't made time for? Today, take the time. Perhaps um, there is someone you're wanting to communicate with. Maybe you're the one reaching out to them. But um, definitely, if you have that feeling, if you have that prompting, uh, yeah, definitely contact them. Pain is a touchstone of spiritual progress. So you are going through a pain, emotional pain, maybe physical pain. Um, there's some discomfort that you're feeling. Spirit's aware of this. Follow your pain as if it were a candle in the night, leading you to a place of decision. Maybe you're indecisive about something and Spirit's going to help you with a decision. Clear choices can often heal your pain because they release your conflicts, making a definite decision um, might in fact heal the discomfort that you're in. Everything lost is found again. Everything hurt is healed again. So we do have a message of healing coming through again. So the, it looks like healing energy is here and it might come through as an unexpected blessing around healing, physical, emotional, psychological. Uh, some type, something is going to be mended. Something's going to become complete. Something you have lost is going to come around again. Some, something you have lost will be found. This truth has the power to retrieve a part of your spirit from the past. It's a mantra that's strong enough to overcome past injuries. This will be your constant thought today. So you will overcome past injuries, whatever they are. It's never too late to create a new body. So this card is focusing on the physical, maybe to do with health. Maybe you're wanting a better lifestyle, diet, exercise, something physical in your life um, is coming into focus. Even the slightest change in your diet can generate a new body and a fresh mind. Avoid eating anything today that creates conflict in you. This can also be in terms of avoiding people and situations that create conflict in you. Observe how instantly your body manifests a grateful feeling when you honor that, when you honor that, um, that truth. Guidance for Scorpio, please, spirit. So we have this beautiful horse and cart here, maybe a short trip away. Uh, you're in need of deep relaxation. Okay, you are in need of more sleep, deep re relaxation of some type. Um, I give myself time and space for healing and renewal. Maybe you're feeling burnt out if you are. Spirit is so aware of this and guiding you toward actions that are in alignment with relaxation, taking time for you and self-care. Travel experience and broadening horizon. So travel, we have a short trip away. So that's definitely coming through. Broadening your horizons, broadening your view. I am constantly learning and refreshing my views. So that may be something that's needed rather than being very fixed and rigid. Perhaps it's important to um, this week in a certain 
conversation or situation you're contemplating. Um, know that you could be, um, it, things could improve or you could be seeing things from a better perspective and look at it as learning. Dedication inspires imagination. I express myself freely, creatively and gleefully. Get creative with yourself. Get creative. Do something maybe artistic, but cre definitely creative in some way. Or what inspires you? What is your imagination inspiring you to do? What is spirit inspiring you to do? Definitely take action on that at this time. You're taking flight here. Beautiful. At last, a suddenly soaring success. It's my life and I choose to shine. Yes, you are taking off. Something's going to go incredibly well for you. Maybe in your work, perhaps. But it's your time to shine, okay? So it's going to be place that energy in different areas of everyone's life. So see how it resonates with your heart. Keep the vigil. Justice will triumph. Maybe that's where you're going to have success justice is going to triumph also justice is libra so you may have a libra in your life but keeping the vigil so keep dedicated to something you're going to have success retreat into nature solitude so going within a retreat of some kind we have had travel on the cards perhaps this is you retreating and doing something for yourself solitude weave your destiny this is a creation card okay so this is very powerful symbols here because you get to weave you get to create and manifest a change if that's what you want and when you start to do this and co-create with the universe the unexpected is going to happen you're going to receive you're going to receive receive an amazing uh, re receive an amazing blessing what it is that you need in connection to this manifestation that you're creating you are cherished and protected know that in all of your dealings you are protected your heart is protected your emotions your mind and your body you are cherished and you are protected You are valuable. I want to say that. You are valuable. You are what you think. Perhaps you're not feeling valued. Perhaps you're not feeling cherished. So where are, you, where are your thoughts at? Okay, that's the question here. Where are your thoughts at? Magnetism through gratitude. And this is the key here. Because you might be, um, you might be focused on more negative things. But if you're able to have gratitude in your heart and in your mind, actually think that you are grateful for things that are around you, you're going to attract like a magnet more beautiful things in your life. It's important to see beyond the past. In some respect, you are trapped in the past, or you're healing from something in the past. You are going to be able to see beyond the past though, okay? So that's, that if it's not um, happening right now, it is on the way for you and you will be evolving into your complexity. So moving, moving forward in a positive way for you, even though things are complex. Guidance for Scorpio, please, Spirit. The Knight of Wands taking action on an inspired idea. You're going to feel passionate or your heart's going to be in something and you're going to want to do something. And when you feel prompted, go for it. The Six of Cups is about support. Um, friendships, supportive friendships or supportive someone, I feel someone who is not usually you wouldn't expect support from is going to support you. 
the three of swords, there's definitely been some heartache or some nasty words that have been said, some difficulty and challenges. The spirit's aware of this, but it's right below action. So there is some kind of action that you can take. Maybe it's something that you're going to say to someone, um, but some kind of action that you will take in regard to this. Yes, it might be with words, definitely communication with the Queen of Swords. There's heartache here. There's um, some difficulty, but what you have to say, what you have to write to someone, what you are going to communicate to them is really important and for your empowerment. The Queen of Swords here, we have independence as the keyword. So that may resonate for you. The Angel of Wisdom, the Emperor. So the Emperor could be to do with a job, work, authority figures um, along these lines. Uh, you might be stepping into a leadership position as well when the Emperor comes up. You are the one that's going to step up and use wisdom um, in a situation. The Emperor is also Aries, so you may have an Aries in your life of significance and also is the father energy. So there could be something going on with your father, grandfather, or a message from them if they are passed over spirit um, communication or you'll see something that reminds you of them, you know, something like that happening. And the magician. So this is about creating magic, creating magic in your life. Very much in alignment with this beautiful card here, weaving your destiny. So both of these cards signify the same energy of you having everything you need to create. And that's what you, you, you're empowered to do that. And that's what's going to happen. Let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. The answer is yes. So check in with your heart, see if this resonates for you. It must be wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.